everybody. Today we're going to talk about Batman and Spawn. Everybody, welcome back to BK's Bullets. As always, I'm your host, Frank Casina, and today we're talking about Batman and Spawn. Now, there is a new oversized hardcover that's come out that has more than what's in here. But what we're looking at here is basically the majority of what's that, uh, in that other hardcover. So, uh, the deluxe edition, or so to speak, it's got a Frank Miller uh, Dark Knight Returns cover by Greg Capullo on it. This is also by Greg Capullo. It's also a new, brand new cover. The cool thing about this hardcover, uh, this is the classic collection as it's called, is that this one actually glows in the dark. And I don't think the new one, I don't think the oversized one does that. But I'll, I'll show you the old cover um, that is referenced on the other one. So you know what I'm talking about. So there's a new oversized hardcover. It's basically a flip-flop of this image. you got Spawn on top and Batman on the bottom. And this is drawn by uh, Todd McFarlane. The new cover on um, that oversized one is by Greg Capullo. So this is very confusing, Brent. Why are we talking about this? Well, I bought this when uh, the new Batman Spawn one-shot came out. I didn't buy the one-shot. I bought it on Comixology thinking, you know, oh, maybe it'd be collected. And it turns out it wasn't. So what this contains is the original one-shots from like 1993, 1994, uh, Batman Spawn War Devil, and then I think Spawn Batman uh, by Frank Miller and Todd McFarlane. <clears throat> so... This has a new cover, it's cool. If you see the shiny parts of it at, with the light, that is the parts that glow in the dark. I can confirm, it's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a bare bones hardcover. It's art on board, which I always like the art on board ones, honestly. You don't have to deal with the dust jacket and putting the dust jacket somewhere when you're reading it, that kind of thing. Uh, this one costs $20. So if you're just interested in the old stories that you read when you were growing up or when you were a young man, whatever your age may be, um, you know, you can just go and find this one and not read the new one. I will say all of these one shots do not connect to each other. There's no continuity between them and, uh, you can just read them for, for the fun that they are. Now, the first story in here is the Batman Spawn War Devil. And this is actually one of the better story of the two that's collected in here. Uh, I don't know if this was the first one shot to come out or not, <clears throat> but this one is the better one because honestly it has real writers on it. You got Doug Munch, Alan Grant, Chuck Dixon doing the writing, and Klaus Janssen doing the art. Klaus Janssen, if you're not familiar with him, he was the inker on Dark Knight Returns for Frank Miller, so that is his connection here to Batman. Um, he also has a wonderful miniseries called Batman Death and the Maidens that he drew uh, with, I think Greg Rucka wrote it. That's phenomenal as well. Um, he is a little bit of an acquired taste with his art. It's very blocky, very thick is what I would term it as, and a little bit ugly. Like, not everybody in his world is pretty. But it's a style that is distinctly his, and once you see Klaus Janssen's regular style and you go back and look at Dark Knight Returns, uh, you'll instantly realize what he brought to Frank Miller's artwork because there's a lot in the inks on Dark Knight Returns that you may not have realized were from Klaus until you see his own regular art style. So here you basically have Batman and Spawn teaming up to fight this guy, uh, Virgil Dare, I believe his name is, and he's like the far, far descendant of the first woman born in America, Virginia Dare. Uh, and this is all trying to tie into this mystery of Roanoke, Virginia, and the word on the tree, Croatoan. There's a star pattern, uh, and so it has to do with hell and demons and devils and things like that. So that's kind of the spawn Batman uh, thing going on here. So they're teaming up to stop everything from going on. And are they successful? You'll have to read to find out. That's a better one. Uh, the next one you have is the Spawn, right here, the Spawn Batman thing. And written by Frank Miller back in, what, 93, 94? Art by Todd McFarlane. So he's drawing Batman here for, I guess, the second time in his career because he had the, the couple issues on Batman Year 2 back in the day. Um, well, this was back in the day now. It was in, in 2023. We're talking even further back in the 1980s when he started his career. So, um, anyway, there's a weird thing here that says Spawn Batman's a companion piece to The Dark Knight Returns. I'm not sure why it says that. Like, literally, you can read this, and other than it being in Frank Miller's Batman voice, and, um, you know, 
Todd McFarlane trying to draw like a Frank Miller-ish Batman with the short ears. There's nothing in here that says this is a companion piece to Dark Knight Returns. You know, it's set in New York, not in Gotham. And uh, that's really the only thing that, you know, the, a short-eared Batman with the yellow oval does not make it a Dark Knight Returns companion piece. Even if it's written by Frank Miller. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, there's no references to Jason. There's no references to the death of the Joker from Dark Knight Returns. There's no references to the Bat Boys anything like that, the mutant leader, uh, nothing like that in here to actually reference it. It's just like, hey, we wanted to, I, you know, maybe Todd McFarlane said, I want to make a sequel to Dark Knight Returns and tie Spawn in to that because at the time he saw Spawn as maybe the successor to Batman. And if Dark Knight Returns took place in 1986 for real, then this could be followed up five years later and Spawn is the new Dark Knight in Todd McFarlane's eyes. That's the only reason I see that, you know, kind of going on. Um, the art in here, you know, I'm not going to call it bad. It's certainly different from McFarlane's other stuff. Like if you, I've read the first, uh, what, a hundred issues of Spawn. I have the older trade paperbacks over here on my left hand side, your right. And this Todd McFarlane doesn't actually like this style doesn't line up with what's in those books. Um, so I'm quite confused as to why... Um, you know, Todd McFarlane went to go with this style. There's still stuff in here that certainly spawned in Todd McFarlane with these inset panels, with the sound effects, you know. Um, they've got the talking heads in here. You've got the logos. I'm trying to find the talking heads because that was the thing about Spawn. Every issue had like the three talking heads from the different channels giving commentary. Now, if you want to see Batman and Spawn fight, like this second book in here is definitely worth it because that's pretty much the most thing that they do is fight um but yeah just the style seems a little off from his other other stuff especially if you look at it now i mean he's evolved as an artist and doesn't do much. here's a talking head right there uh he, you know mcfarlane's not doing a whole bunch of pencils on his own the most that i see from him is the stuff on his social media channels when he's just doing a quick sketch for fun um so yeah so it's a fun little collection if you just want to see these two characters interact and not overspend on a deluxe hardcover. I think you can go with this one. If you really want the Greg Capullo stuff, though, you do have to go get that deluxe hardcover as of, you know, April of 2023. I don't know if they're going to recollect that back down into a regular size or it should pay, trade paperback. I'm not sure. So for now, I'm going to hang on to this because I read that new one shot and um, there's not much to say about it, I think. The, the artwork is beautiful, but the story is definitely, to me... Already having this and the story in that new one shot, um, not worth going to pick up that new deluxe hardcover. I'll wait till they figure out what they want to do with it. If they reprint it in a smaller, you know, regular hardcover trade paperback size, then I might pick it up. Uh, you know, especially if it's got a new cover. But this glow in the dark cover is really fucking cool. So uh, I really like that. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of these Spawn Batman crossovers, and we'll see you guys next time here in the Funny Pages.